All right, can you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel? Today, I'm gonna go over how to get your Sony AR7 Mark III camera ready to capture the Northern Lights. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and set your camera to the manual setting. I know a lot of you try to do other modes like automatic aperture or the shutter setting. I'm gonna switch it to the manual setting and doing so will allow you to have full control over all of the parameters when capturing the Northern Lights. So once you have in the manual uh, setting, you're also gonna to want to go into the menu setting and make sure that the steady shot is off. You do not want the steady shot on because it will affect your, uh, your, your, your capture. So once you have it off, all right, get out of the menu mode, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go ahead and use some of the manual settings. One is being is set your aperture to the lowest f-stop. So right here, this particular lens right here goes down to f2, okay? So I'm gonna put it at f2, so that's it's wide open. And in doing so, allows more light to come through the lens in order for you to capture the northern lights. All right, that's one step. The other step is the shutter speed, okay? Now, the shutter speed, you're gonna to wanna to have it start off, I generally start it off at a, at a slow speed when capturing the Northern Lights. I usually go up to about, I start at around 20 seconds, okay? So get the shutter uh, down to 20 seconds, all right, 20 second shutter. And doing so, because the Northern Lights are, if you, if you look at them by eye, they're very faint. But if you have your shutter open for a long period of time, you'll be able to capture that uh, deep green hue that you see in all the pictures on Instagram and everything. So like right here, I started off at 20 seconds, okay? Now, if it is a really good showing of the Northern Lights, you can go ahead and crank it down to a faster shutter speed, but I always go to start off at 20 to see how it goes. Um, also, one of the key features is also, if you have a remote on your camera, go ahead and do that. If not, go ahead and set your timer on your camera. I generally do like a five second uh, timer, but if I'm also in the photo when I'm shooting Northern Lights, I'll go ahead and do a 10 second timer, all right? Now, the last but uh, most crucial uh, piece to this is always have a tripod when shooting the Northern Lights. That'll allow you to get a really great shot, a crisp shot of the Northern Lights. And uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, thanks a lot.